Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is Praise to You, O Christ, Our Savior. Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father calling us to life, Son of God who leads us to freedom, glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the word who calls us out of darkness, you are the word who leads us into light, you are the word who brings us through the desert, Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father calling us to life, Son of God who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the one whom prophets hoped and longed for, you are the one who speaks to us today. You are the one who leads us to our future. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father calling us to life, Son of God who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Pam DeLott and Pasquale Grace and Sam Bomarito. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Now a new king arose over Egypt who did not know Joseph. He said to his people, look, the Israelite people are more numerous and more powerful than we. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them, or they will increase. In the event of war, join our enemies and fight against us and escape from the land. Therefore, they sent taskmasters over them to oppress them with forced labor. They built supply cities, Pitam and Ramses for Pharaoh. But the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread, so that the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites. The Egyptians became ruthless in imposing tasks on the Israelites and made their lives bitter with hard service, in mortar and brick and in every kind of field labor. They were ruthless in all the tasks that they imposed on them. Then Pharaoh commanded all his people, Every boy that is born to the Hebrews you shall throw into the Nile, but you shall let every girl live. The word of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when our enemies attacked us, then they would have swallowed us up alive when their anger was kindled against us. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Then the flood would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us prey to their teeth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are they who suffer persecution for justice' sake, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one foes will be members of one's own household. Whoever loves mother or father more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up the cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Those who find their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. Now when Jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples, he went on from there to teach and proclaim his message in their cities. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. We shift from Genesis to Exodus this week, and we see that the jealousy of Pharaoh takes over, and the oppression of the Israelites continues, so much so that God hears their cry and intervenes. Jesus is very clear that amidst oppression, amidst division in family, amidst anything that we encounter in the world, we still must choose God first. And so it is of the faithfulness of the Israelites that move the compassionate heart of God. It is the faithfulness of us, if we remain faithful, that moves the heart of God, as Jesus says so beautifully, that no one will lose their reward if we do deeds on behalf of the Lord. And so let us continue to examine our lives and really look at our hearts. What is my agenda? If it's true that Psalm 124 says, our help is in the name of the Lord, then I should seek the name of the Lord each day, as I preached about in yesterday's beautiful second reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, which really helps us to focus on an attitude of gratitude of the greatness of our God, the lowliness of ourself, and our need to complete the mission that God has given to us. So let us continue to examine our heart. Lord, help me to do as you call me to, not as others expect, but as you expect. Let us pray. As we seek to follow Jesus, we join our voices in prayer as we present our needs before him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. May the Lord empower him with wisdom and mercy. As he shepherds the church throughout the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for leadership around the world. May God in his love and mercy inspire them in tending to the needs of those in their care, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the needy in our midst, may Christ banish every affliction and answer their needs, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all of us gathered here. May we grow in faith, love, devotion, and reverence for God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe, and for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Pam and Pasquale, Grace and Sam, the holy souls in purgatory and all who have died. May God welcome them home to eternal life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Heavenly Father, we place these prayers before you, knowing that you will hear us and give us what we need. We ask these in all things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Pam, Pasquale, Grace, and Sam, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you 
into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, Protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, 
we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father, calling us to life, Son of God, who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the word who calls us to be servants. You are the word whose only law is love. You are the word made flesh who lives among us. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father, calling us to life, Son of God, who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the word who binds us and unites us. You are the word who calls us to be one. You are the word who teaches us forgiveness. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ, our Savior, word of the Father, calling us to life. Son of God, who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a good day.